Well, um, it's not just about an alternative to Obamacare, which is nice because a lot of people don't want to buy something called Obamacare. Uh, it is a name for health insurance. And a lot of people think you need health insurance for the major medical hospitalization cost, but that is not true. Um, the expense of Obamacare a decade ago chased millions of mostly small entrepreneurs uh, into what are called religious sharing ministries, uh, some of which grew so large that they had a budget to advertise on conservative radio shows like Sean Hannity's program or the late Rush Limbaugh. People may be familiar with companies like MediShare or Liberty or Samaritans. And whenever you have a uh, maturation of an industry, you have new players and there have come onto the market secular sharing companies that we licensed health insurance agents use now, not just for families, but also for businesses and now even big businesses. So the uh, metaphor is credit unions. People know they don't have to go to a bank for deposits or checking accounts. They can go instead to credit unions for the same. Um, now you don't need health insurance for your cancer and uh, expensive accidents. You can get a sharing plan, medical cost sharing. And it just so happens, you know, Forbes magazine featured how we combine sharing with the very popular health savings account, HSA, which sophisticated people know is a tax shelter for retirement. Uh, for everyone else, it's a way to accumulate money and roll it, roll it over every year. They have thousands of dollars available for your out-of-pocket costs, dentistry, urgent care, um, uh, uh, elective procedures, et cetera. Um, but that's what I sell. Um, you know, it costs two fifty dollars a month per head on average, so that's a good price for people. Uh, people like having a health savings account to build hundred grand for retirement. Uh, people know that you can use it for long-term care costs. That's going to hit, hit a lot of us. People aren't prepared for long-term care. Or if you're healthy, you could use it to buy a boat or a second home <laughs> or a second farm, you know, polyface farm. So, you know, the HSA is a really popular vehicle and I sell it with the sharing. And the beauty of the sharing, I don't lead on price. I lead on, I lead on choice because one thing no one knows about Obamacare is it restricts your choice. And that's because health insurance has networks, which means if you got cancer or heart disease, you have to find a hospital or specialist in your network. And you might not want to go to the choices given to you. With sharing, we make you into a cash shopping patient, which as a libertarian, Joel, is critical to, cr to create a supply and demand in healthcare, which does not exist right now. There's a lot of hullabaloo about exposing bundled pricing to help you shop on price. So we make you into a cash price uh, shopper, which means you can go wherever you want worldwide, which is also important for those of us who are smart and don't want to go to an oncologist for cancer. We're going to, we're going to Tijuana. On my weekly show, I've hosted these entrepreneurs. Gideon Krauts has the Natural Cancer Treatment Therapy Center in Tijuana. There's other places worldwide. If you're a cash shopper, there's no limit where you can go worldwide. Right. And smart patients want that control. So what I'm offering isn't just an Obamacare alternative. I'm offering you control of your health care. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's so wonderful, Charles. You know, we, uh, yeah, we're we're a perfect example. You know, we're a small business, uh, and we're a perfect example of somebody that got kicked out of Obamacare when it came in. I I hate insurance. I just don't like all that stuff. And so uh, I was seeing, you know, it's going to be good. It's going to be bad. It's going to be good. It's going to be bad. And uh, so I said, you know what? We're just going to wait, see what happens. And from from at midnight on December 31st or whatever, you know, at, at 12.01 a.m. January 1st when Obamacare went in, um, our insurance jumped from whatever, you know, 20,000 a year to like 33,000 and we were out. And so we're a perfect example of somebody that, 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 that absolutely got kicked out of health insurance from, you know, with, with Obamacare. So we went shopping and and uh, we've landed we we landed at the time uh, with uh, Samaritan Ministries we've been we've been with Samaritan uh, since, um and and have have very much liked them, uh, and and we've got some good stereos I won't bring those on right here. My question to you is, 
Uh, Samaritan, of course, is a religious uh, faith-based program, has a lot of questions. Does, does Do all of these health-sharing programs have the stipulations about lifestyle, about uh, whatever, you know, um, do, do they, my understanding is a lot of the cost savings is because they, they don't, um, or, or they screen, let's say they screen for lifestyle things. And so is that, is that also in these, in the secular ones? Yes. Uh, although it's different. So the religious sharing ministries don't guarantee issue. Uh, if you have certain health problems, they'll deny you. Um, the secular ones, and by the way, the secular one we first used, uh, Sidera, at our brokerage, emanated from Samaritans. Their price shopper, Tony Dale, a British physician at the Karis Group, realized the math works. It should be available to the secular market and the business, business, business market. Um, how we screen is a phase-in of pre-existing conditions. So any condition you've had over the past two years is going to require you to pay us uh, a year where there's no help for you. And then the second year, we'll give you a set amount, $25,000, 50,000 year three and a cap annual of 125 K every year thereafter. That's only for the conditions you had in the past two years. Everything else is immediate uh, protection. There are some exemptions to that phase in. So if your diabetes, cholesterol, or blood pressure are con controlled, and haven't hospitalized you during that two year window, look back, um, you're good to go from date of elig eligibility. Um, some of my prospects, I warn, eh, your, your cancer, your heart disease is too risky. Uh, I'm going to uh, suggest Obamacare for you. Um, some people will double dip uh, because we're only 250 a month. They'll get my plan now because, you know, with the religious plans like you have, you can't have a health savings account. You can with mine because we don't operate under the religious exemption from Obamacare. We add something called a MEC, a minimal essential coverage piece, which brings compliance and a structure that allows for the health savings account. Uh, so I tell religious uh, patients like you, if you want to switch any month to get a health savings account, which is the best vehicle to build a hundred grand by retirement, you can switch any month. Um, and there will be a two year look back. So if that's a problem, think twice. Or get both. Obamacare, keep that for a year during the phase-in, and then after the phase-in is over, get rid mm. of Obamacare, and you've got sharing, and there, and thus choice. Choice is the important thing you want when you oh, get cancer or heart disease. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, listen, you know, I um, I know we're pressed on time, but, but I know this is across the spectrum, um, and, and different ones – Different ones uh, are more or less amenable to unorthodox things, but we had a friend with one of these cost sharing uh, things and found a, a specialist in Spain that in this in this particular autoimmune disorder that she had, and and her uh, cost sharing not only paid for her plane ticket to go over, but a friend to go with her to spend the week at the clinic and come home. You'd have never gotten that. And, and she's doing great now. Um, but you'd have never gotten that from Obamacare or any kind of traditional, you know, American health system. You wouldn't have had that choice. And, and so uh, I totally agree. What's the, what's the name of your, uh, of your group? Uh, well, I have a link that, that we can put in the show notes, uh, our, our brokerage, um, and this is important. I warn people not to go direct with any sharing organization because sometimes they have problems. So we actually moved our thousands of members out of one sharing organization and into another because of those problems. Um and if you skip us, you're not going to get the help of our concierge. That's going to help you for the cost below the deductible. Well, we call it something else. It's called the IUA, initial insurable amount. So whether sharing or Obamacare, you're going to pay the first thousand or or 2,500 or 5,000. And Cena knows that a, a, the bulk of people's health costs are below $5,000. 
And if your specialist wants you to get a test or go see a specialist here and there, you're going to want our concierge shopper assistant to help hold your hand on how to save money, how to find well quality specialist, uh, how to use our free telemedicine. Um, so I'll put, you know, I'm empowering benefits, you know, our brokerage in the show notes so that you can talk to us, see which sharing vendor is best for you. Cause we use a couple of different ones. We, we use the top two ones. Every other agent uses in LinkedIn at LinkedIn, all of us high quality insurance agents are always uh, arguing and there's only two sharing companies that we'll use in the country. Sedera mm-hmm. and Zion. We won't use anyone else because they're, those are the only two good ones, uh, frankly, for the wide secular audience that allows the health savings accounts. is very good on what you discuss, medical tourism. Um, and we'll go back and forth because sometimes Zion causes trouble. Sometimes Hedera causes trouble. And we're looking for new ones, too, that are coming on, like uh, New Health that pays for integrated doctors and naturopaths. So it's a really maturing and growing market. It's important to work with a brokers like ours that has a niche that really puts the pressure on the sharing organizations to perform because they don't always perform. So you don't want to be stuck with one and then they have problems. They may go tight on the medical tourism. They may go tight on the natural care you want. Um, they're always changing their guidelines. So it's not a one size fits all situation. So our brokerage is a ticket to having good protection always, no matter which vendor we use. We use a lot of vendors. We use telemedicine vendors, uh, medical vault vendors to keep your records, um, um, counseling vendors, concierge shopping vendors. We have a bunch of them. Healthcare Blue Book, Pratter, Savos. We're always making them compete against each other. Pharmacy finders. That's the biggest headache. Everyone is on drugs and getting pressure to try novel drugs and they're expensive and not every uh, discount pharma finder works for every drug. So that's a big overhead cost of our brokerage is helping you find drugs below the cost of the sharing vendor. So, you know, you're going to want to go to our brokerage because your costs start below $5,000, which is where most of these sharing operations start. Uh, Charles, is your, oh, go ahead, Joel. Go ahead, Stina. Go ahead, Stina. Sorry. Uh, Does your cost sharing program, aside from prescription drugs, would it cover things like herbal remedies uh, and and other supplements? No. Again, we don't, we don't use the verb cover uh, because we don't want to be regulated by the uh, obnoxious insurance commissioners or the attorneys general who will shut down sharing companies if they abuse uh, patients, Uh, like, like lying to them, which a lot of insurance agents will do just to get mm-hmm. to the business. You know, no industry is immune from corruption and bad behavior by salesmen. Um, but you're going to use your health savings account for the low level cost and natural okay. cost. You know, with the health savings account, you probably know this, you need to get a letter of necessity from the provider in case you're audited. You know, the IRS has a 213D section for permissible expenses under a health savings account. So there's, there's no perfect panacea yet. We do the best we can to package the best. Now, what uh, uh, part two of the answer is, if you do get the cancer or heart disease, you can go not only to Spain or elsewhere for medical tourism, but you can go to alternative therapists as long as there's a letter justifying the expense. Uh, our sharing vendors are very open-minded on use of alternative therapies in recovery from expensive incidents like cancer or heart disease. And that and that's going to be really important going forward because more more people are going to want to have alternative therapies for the expensive stuff. But for the low level stuff, you're going to use your health savings account because okay, it's not going to rise to five thousand dollars, which is when the sharing kicks well, in. Remember, sharing is major medical; it's not low level stuff. Yeah. So so most of the the incentive here. I mean, this is a self serving thing because most of the time. Uh, the the medical tourism that you're describing is actually a lot cheaper than the uh, than the typical health cost of an American hospital. So uh, so um, you know there there's an incentive for the company to allow that. Uh, one my final question here is uh, if I join, uh, I mean right now in our American ministries, we you know we we send our check to individuals to individual uh, people. Uh, is that the way this works, or does the check 
every month go to a central hub and that's it. The central hub. So our sharing vendors uh, take care of the um, financial transactions. Um, okay. And we'll have incentives to cut your out of pocket if you let us use Healthcare Blue Book to find you a high quality hospital or specialist for a surgery. And then the the uh, sharing vendor will pay the provider directly, which can be important because if you're ever hospitalized with an expensive incident, um, you'll be getting lots of bills at different times and it gets confusing. Uh, so, right. we're, you know, ha ha using our concierge shopping service is important. It's going to save you money. It's also going to get you good quality, highly rated doctors and hospitals. And the, the ratings really diverge. And it's not easy to find quality ratings. That's another topic. Yeah. Um, Charles, I have one hmm. last question. This is a really basic question uh, for me. <laughs> uh, this is not really my area. My husband more or less handles you know, the medical financial part. But so my question for you is, we've looked into medical cost sharing in the past because I'm very intrigued by this. And now when you're bringing up medical choice, like this just really resonates deeply with me. It's something that I am in, in desperately seeking. In the past, the companies that my husband has worked for said that even if we went out and we paid out of our own pocket to do this medical cost sharing system, that they would still take money from his uh, paycheck to pay for whatever health insurance, I guess they're required the the employees required to have, is that actually, is that true? Do you still have to pay? Like if you're working for a company, you still have to let them take the money out of your paycheck to pay for whatever it is they're paying for, for medical coverage. Uh, it de depends on the company, but yes. Um, so I don't really sell to people, employees or spouses with company plans because that's free money with me. You're going to pay two fifty a month at least. You know, it's gonna be five fifty for a, a family plan a month, uh, which is less than Obamacare. But with Obamacare, sometimes you get a subsidy for your premium, which doesn't apply to your deductible, which is on average six grand with Obamacare. Oh wow! Um, but some folks uh, just want the sharing, even despite having access to an employer plan, especially for the spouse, because a lot of employers are cost sharing. They they steal our language. They confuse people. They're imposing uh, sh uh, more costs on the spouse to, to access the employer plan. So you may have to pay 300, 400 a month just to access your husband's plan. Well, in that case, you may say, yeah, forget that. I'm getting sharing. Um, but yeah, I won't sell Obamacare. I find it unethical to give you, to subject you to a network. Yeah. That means if you get cancer <laughs> or heart disease, you don't get to choose the doctor you want. And a lot of folks want to go to the Cleveland Clinic. Well, they're not on your plan. Sorry. Or they want to go to Spain or Tijuana. You know, my aunts from Texas go to Merida, Yucatan for teeth work. You know, um, it's unethical. I, to me, Obamacare is a backstop for the sick, which is fine. Before Obamacare, there were risk pools. There always have been backstops for the sick because if you're uninsurable, you're uninsurable, whether it's a house fire, a car, or whatever. Um, and so... That's that. Now we now what you could do is is introduce your boss to me, and with something Trump expanded called ICRA, individual coverage health reimbursement arrangement, I can upgrade the company plan so healthy people can get sharing and get choice and affordability, and a health savings account, and then sick people have Obamacare as a backstop. Or like I said earlier, you can double dip if you're sick. You can get both. Get the sharing now and Obamacare in case something comes up from your pre-ex, pre-existing, and that phase-in period. And then if you're healthy in the first two years, you dump the Obamacare and you've got sharing for the rest of your life. And it's, a, it's an individual plan. So the boss is not giving you a group plan. They're paying what's called a list bill, a bill with a list of everyone on the sharing. But if you leave the company, you take the sharing with you. So it's yours for life, oh, at least like until that. Medicare, at least until Medicare. Everyone dumps you on Medicare when you're 65, unfortunately. Uh, not, not Samaritan Ministries. I'm still on Samaritan and I'm, I'm uh, well over 65 and I'm not taking any Medicare. 
I don't think they advertise that, but uh, yes, uh, a couple companies, that's an advantage over us. Um, Samar it's good to hear Samaritans want to dump you on the Medi uh, Medicare. Most sharing vendors will. Yeah, well, they they haven't dumped us, and we, we've elected. I mean, yeah, it, it's a bummer. We've paid into this who knows how many thousands of dollars for all of our working life, but I just I just do not want to go into a, well, I'm with you. I want choice. I don't, I don't want to go into a system that's going to uh, demand where I go. And so we're continuing, we're continuing to pay uh, for our program, even though we're eligible for, um, for Medicare. 